Is this working? Working, yeah. working? All right. I'm feeling it. All right, good. Excellent. You're okay with the green screen editions of BeerAmerica.tv? I do. I think it adds a, a certain element of cheese that I embrace. And, All right. Uh, we are good. Sort of kitschy people. Do you like the bowling thing going on? I do. Back I, here? I, I feel right at home. Good. Excellent. Wonderful. Because we have a, a, a beer today um, from Ska Brewing called Pinstripe Red Ale. It's Pinstripe Red Ale. And since we had bowling pins on the front or whatever, I said, you know what? Let's just do a little bowling thing. Why not? Right on. The cheesier the better. We thought we would have fun with this and not like put... Uh, brewery background or something like that because then it would just look like a fake brewery background and uh, exactly so we said you know what we're gonna have a little fun with this let's just do whatever let's just put whatever up here and talk about the beer so yeah, yeah all without right without further ado without further ado uh, ska is uh, we've done one beer by ska already we did modus hopperendi which was an excellent excellent hoppy beer for yes, sure indeed. Uh, I have bought it since because it was so good and uh, it was in a can. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. The can beer. Yeah. Now we've got that's a awesome. bottle of one from Scott. Well, Doing cool. a little bit of both. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, so are you? How, how familiar are you with with, with Scott? Um, I'm I'm not real chummy with the, the guys at the brewery. I mean, yeah. I think we probably all recognize each other, but yeah. I've just never we've never hung out. Uh, however, um, I've been I've been enjoying their beers. And, mm -hmm. They do um, a nice job. I really like their website. Yeah, the website's cool. If you go to uh, if you go to their uh, website, uh, there's a lot going on. I would say if you're going onto their website at home or at work, um, to be careful because the music comes on. <laughs> yeah, they right have uh, the the ska music piped in, and uh... they'll know that you're not working if you get on <laughs> get on the ska website. But they got this whole cartoon thing, mm. or uh... like clip arty almost in a way. I mean, it kind of resembles their uh, a little bit of what their the artwork on yeah. the front of their label. You know, and I it's like a, it. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's groovy. Totally cool. So, talk to me a little bit about red ales. I know we've done some in the past. Um, what about them? What makes them red? The malt is there? It's a style. Yeah, certainly. Uh, what, what, what one expects when we uh, taste a red ale? Uh, it's a, it's definitely an American style, mm -hmm. and um, usually there's a pretty neutral yeast character. It's usually defined by its malt character, particularly kind of caramelly notes and. Um, and because it's an American beer, I think one can expect a, a bit of hoppiness, not necessarily um, to the extent of an IPA, but some red ales I've tasted are pretty darn hoppy. Yeah. They now have a strong, uh, well, for a number of years now, they've had a strong ale category, strong red ale category uh, with the JBF and the World Beer Cup. So um, it's been around for a while, and I mean, it's one of the early kind of craft styles. Mm -hmm. It was sort of the next step up from Amber um, long, long ago. But uh, hey, I'm a, I'm a big fan let's of red ale. I'm judging. I'm, yeah. Well, being a malt man, yeah. See, I get that kind of neutral uh, I yeast character. Yep. In here. That's the first thing that hit me was the hops. Well, the first thing that got me was that kind of uh, neutral to slightly fruity yeast character. Um, but I, there's definitely that American kind of hop character. I, I believe this one features uh, Liberty Hops, mm. which is an American variety. And it was bigger off the nose than it was on the, on the palate, at least for me. I was expecting more, but I, I like it that it doesn't hit me over the head. Yeah, there's not a great deal of hop flavor there. Mm. The bitterness uh, level is, is right there appropriate for kind of balancing out that uh, slight malt sweetness. Uh -huh. Balance to me is uh, one of those just key elements. Yeah. I would much rather a beer be balanced than extreme or what have you so unless you want an extreme beer right well, yeah I mean, from time yeah. to time i want yeah. you know i want something like really hoppy or or, or what have you or mm -hmm. something sour or, you know i like peaks and valleys in my flavor profile but i think there needs to be balance sure whatever that is sure and i it's funny i just uh you know we, i know it, it's like hitting over uh, the head over and over again as far as uh Beers coming from Colorado, but there, you know, here's another beer from Colorado. That is a nice, easy drinking beer, mm -hmm. um, and yeah, this is not an extreme beer by any stretch. You know, stretch, five so. point, uh, what did you say the ABV was? Five point five point one five. Yeah, I think. something you know around the five five range is always nice. Yeah, you know? very. You can have a few and and not have to worry about things. It doesn't yeah, get I you can, over the head. I with... could easily see bringing a six pack of this home mm -hmm. just for the uh, occasional beer. Yeah, I see. Um, I see these guys, uh, you know, they do a lot of stuff. I find them, I, I see them in Texas all over the place, you know. So oh, okay. obviously they're growing out uh, a little bit. And, and I, I highly recommend any beers from Scott. If you can get them, try them. You know, they're, I think they, 
and this is me talking, you could, you could totally, uh, I think they brew beers that are a little outside of the boundaries a little bit. Like they're, they're, they're uh, not typical. This isn't a typical red ale, I guess. I, to me, it's, it, it's just, like you said, it's, it's a really good red ale. It's just not a common red ale that you would get off the shelf. I think this is, it's, it's a beer that I like going, oh, yeah, it's a little different. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Right on. You know, that's me. I don't know about you. You know, you, you have more than I do anyway. You know, you live it every day. So uh, to be from honest, a consumer I'm not a, standpoint, that's how I feel. I don't drink a lot of red ales. Just like, I'm, it's not my go-to beer, but um, I, I think it's a, a well-made beer and mm -hmm. it's very tasty. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, well, we'll have to do more ska beers for sure. We uh, shall. It's not... Uh, Perhaps a field trip to uh, Durango is in order. I'm telling you what. <laughs> I just, you know, I, I was fortunate enough to spend some time, and I know you've been there a bunch of times for GABF, but I, I was fortunate to spend some time at Oscar Blues and at Avery, and, and it just, the amount of brew, not, not, not so much breweries too, but in Boulder, there were like brew pubs on every corner, you know, that we yeah. would never hear about, you know, that aren't mass producing their beers. It's just the beer making scene there is ridiculous. Well, and Durango is a whole different ball game from, that, from that part of uh, Colorado too. I've never been. I haven't either, actually, yeah. but um, I know a lot of people that are big cyclists that... Um, cyclists, yep. Uh, head that way from, like, say, Telluride, and because Telluride's just a hop, skip, and a jump down mm -hmm. the road from Durango. Beautiful Fun state. stuff. Yeah, yeah, lots of beer coming out of uh, Colorado. So, there we go. Ska, pinstripe red ale. Hope you've enjoyed the bowling going on back I there. I have. You have. Good. I have. Like I said, the noise wasn't too bad, and it was, it was all good. All right, well... Uh, Paul at BeerAmerica.tv. Pink at BeerAmerica.tv. You can always feel free to email us. Um, tell, us if you, tell us if you hate this or if it's getting annoying or, or what. Because I know that you know, we had planned on shooting uh, several of these with the green screen. So we're just experimenting here. And, it's, it, and we're doing it because um, I, I don't have the benefit of being at Moon River Brewing. You know? And so we yeah, said, oh, let's mix it up a little bit. Why not? Why not? There we go. So, uh, hey, oh, cheers. I did it again. Dude. Sorry. I'm sorry. Thirsty. Either that or I'm, I'm falling way behind. Probably me. It's not you. It's, me. it's not me. It's you. I don't know. Oh, right. okay. That's yeah. I uh, like this. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd buy Very that. Very nice. Easy drinking beer. Mm -hmm.